All right, what's up, guys? So I'm gonna continue the next story quest. Uh, we were still in. What was it again? Chapter three, Act One. I was. Uh, it was getting too long, so I ended it. I ended the story quickly. Anyway, let's continue to the quest here, and the traveler just got into the. What Welcome. is it called again? The Adventurers Guild told me to expect you to. Okay. It's nice um, to meet you, Asfun. We'd like to ask you about something. Asfun. Okay, so we'd like to ask. Um, I see. So Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Yeah, about the lesser lord Kasanali. <laughs> It's true that the Aramites' network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Wait, seriously? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> so, the Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. Wait, what? We originally came from the desert. The gods there died off long ago. Since oh. those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. Really? Oh? Why that? Why, yeah, why could that be? Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Mm. Although they believe in gods. Most of them only care for the late, greater Lord Rugadavada. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with greater Lord Rugadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Which means, even after 500 years, the Lesser Lord Kisanali doesn't even... Uh, I mean, she's still a little bit recognized in Sumeru, but not as worse as, not as, worse as Fenty's actually, but... Um, it's just that the Greater Lord Rukadavata is more worshipped, even, even after she died. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance. And the Academia never announces anything about her. Uh, as far as the huh? people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. Really? And then? Aww. After hearing all of that, Paimon sort of feels bad for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yeah, me too. Ha. But who knows? We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Okay, I guess I'm gonna skip this one. Anyway, thanks for the info, S1. <laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the Adventurers Guild. Nice. Then, thank you once again for the help and... Oh, we were at the Citadel of Freg, sir. <sighs> Seems Osfond was right about most people's attitudes here. Yeah. It, the the locals doesn't really interest it with Not only are they Kanali. not interested in the Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, If the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. Okay, that's even worse, We've yeah. We've been asking for information non-stop ever since we got to Sumeru. But the harder we try, the more helpless everything seems. Um, you shouldn't think that way, actually, Paimon. one person in this entire city who cares about Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh, I wonder uh, about you that. You two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? Me, <laughs> yeah. And who are you? From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dunyarzad, one of Lesser Lord Dunyar Kusanali's Zad. faithful followers. Dunyar Zart, one of less one of Kusanali's faithful Whoa, followers. Really? Okay. Then do you know how we can meet with her? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Uh, can you tell us the legend? Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. He predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. Panicked by what he heard, the man sought out the Dendro Archon in hopes that she would bless him. 
but the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. In oh, despair, that's he thought, sad. alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Okay, and then what happened? And then the calamity came. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. At that moment, mm -hmm. a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. She said, Oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. Okay, I don't actually get it, but what an uh should I say amazing? I mean, I don't really understand actually. Uh, it's just something um mediocre. Yeah, thanks for the story. Paimon feels all warm and fuzzy inside after that. Wait, what exactly is that going <laughs> uh, on? Anyway? In a way. It seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? And what would that of be? Of course. So, did you two know that, uh, uh I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. Um, what's going on? There's someone behind me, and looks like she's trying to get hey, away from hey. that person. Yeah, I think there's something to do with those people over it there. It looks like they're searching for someone. Hmm. Dunyarzad was acting super nervous just now. You think they're looking for her? Ugh. This stinks! We finally managed to find a lead about Lesser Lord Kusanali! We can't let them get in the way now. <sighs> Let's see if we can get rid of them. Then we can catch up with Dunyarzad. Hey, have you two seen a brown-haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? We're looking for her. Uh, did she have bandages wrapped around her wrists? Yes, that's her. Did you see which direction she went? Uh, yeah, she went that way. Okay, Paimon definitely is slang. Quick, after her! Wait, the Paimon tells. Okay, exactly, nice. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Dunyar's art. So we just. Uh, we just, um, shoot the, uh, the one searching for Dunyar Zard. What is it? Dunyar Zard. Oh, yeah. Gone by now. Oh, it's you two. Oh, you startled me there. You can relax now. We threw those people looking for you off the trail. Uh, really? Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I believe there's still more of them out there looking for me. What exactly are you doing Looks there? Like there are some coming this way. Huh? More of them? Then what are we standing here for? Run! No, yeah, wait, let's I, run. Uh, my body isn't in the best shape. Uh, it's difficult for me to run. Okay, we gotta find some place to hide okay, then. sounds good. There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. They probably wouldn't expect me to hide in a place like that. Alright, let's move out. Stay behind us. We'll keep an eye out for anyone looking for you. Okay, stay behind us and enter the tavern. The tavern should be around here. Okay, let's enter the tavern. So we 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 can also enter a tavern in Sumeru. It's like in Mondstadt, I guess, no? Let's see. Hmm. We made it. Oh, they shouldn't be able to find us now. Oh, they're here. Oh, that was close. My lady, who are these two? They're travelers that I met on the street just a moment ago. They happened to notice that you were all searching for me, so they helped me hide. I see. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. What? Wait a sec. Who the heck are you? And why are you shooing us away? 
I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard, here to see that she returns home safe and sound. <sighs> My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. And if I refuse to go with you? It'd be easier for the both of us if you cooperated. But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. Hey! Dunyarzad already said she doesn't want to go back! Why are you still pushing her? Yeah. Stay out of this. You don't understand the situation. Then explain to us. It's actually um, it's actually related to us right now since that we're here and we help Dunyazat um hide. Sorry, okay. My lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. Okay, that's exactly how it goes. I see. How much? Wait, what? <laughs> Trying to... How much more do I have to pay you to become your employer? What is it called again? So never listen to my parents ever again. Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. My lady, this isn't about Mora. I don't know what you think of us Aramites, but let me say this. I like Mora, but I'll never go against my principles. That's why hmm. I'm here looking for you. Sure, it's an order from my employer, but my conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. And knowing your health and okay. carelessly running around like this is gonna hurt you. For the sake of those who love you, don't be stubborn. No, you're wrong. I'm aware of my limits and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. And they know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not. I still won't accept reality. And every time I bring this up, they just changed the subject. Dia, you've been living with us a long time already. This should be old news to you. <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father, and I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to, because she saved and? me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. For this her? This is my life and my last chance. And who exactly so is her? I want to do her? something meaningful. My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. <sighs> Fine, I won't ask you to return home anymore. But let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination, not because I agree with you. Thank you, Dia. <sighs> Sorry for being so rude just now. My nerves were acting up. And I even brought up your payment in such an offensive way. Uh, don't worry about it, my lady. I did say that I like Mora. Besides, that's our next topic of conversation. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. It wouldn't be easy to hide things from your old man. Since this definitely won't be your last escapade, here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. Also, you'll need someone to cover you for when you're out and about. So, I'll let you hire me, my lady. This way, everyone wins. As for the pay, let's say mm, half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. Okay, she's actually into the money. <laughs> okay, deal. <laughs> and Dunyarzad is uh, satisfied. Yay! Looks like they've reached an understanding! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Um, wait, are you alright? I'm fine, really. I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. Oh, I see. <sighs> My lady, stop trying to look tough. We're already in a tavern, so let's rest up and grab some grub. Uh-huh. I'm sorry for worrying you two. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Sure! After you rest up, we want to hear more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Okay, let's see with like we just we just want to talk about Lesser Lord Kusanli with her for a while, you know. Ha! <laughs> well, if it isn't Dia, haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. <laughs> Don't you find that kind of work boring? Nah, you get used to it. How about a menu over here? You got it, huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? <laughs> we don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure to prepare our very best. Thank you, sir, but there's no need. 
I don't have a lot of mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. Okay. Uh, no need to break the bank. We'll eat whatever you order. Yeah! We're already super grateful for everything you told us about Lesser Lord Kusanali. How about our coconut charcoal cakes? They're our signature snack, and they run cheap. Look, other customers over there are eating some now. Uh, they look kind of burnt and dry. Uh, by my will pass. Uh, but you've cooked slimes before. Huh. What do you have against my slime dishes? <laughs> okay, anyway, we just ordered some Didn't food I? and... We asked a lot of people when we first arrived, and almost nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Well, remember when uh. you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I- huh? Oh wait, really? I skip it. Actually, uh, my bad. Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. Okay, so actually she already- she claims that she already met the Dendro Archon. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends, and my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But my younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. Uh -huh. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Oh, I see. Dunyarzad. Don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Oh, so this is why exactly it went. <laughs> Who are you? How do you know my name? Um, how do I explain this? You might not be able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. Really? Of course. I know that you're scared of thunder, that you hate taking medicine every morning. And that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. Wow, you really do know everything. Junior is odd. Is there anything you want? What? Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Huh? But aren't you a child? All children have wishes. Tell me what you want, and maybe I can make it happen. But uh, can you make my illness go away? Oh. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Then, can you be my friend? Yes, please. After yeah, that, the voice said, Okay, I'll be your friend. Although my body was suffering during those days, that voice encouraged me and told me many wondrous things. Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest, and beyond that was the wall of Samiel, deserts, and all of Tevat. Once I, I finally see. made it through that bout of illness, I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it, but she said that I must have been dreaming. Well, in my opinion, it's actually a dream, but um, I do understand how... Uh, how important it is for you. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. Before that, I had never heard of Tevat. Mm, so you believe the voice you heard was Lesser Lord Kistanoli? Yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside world. Nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. I've been mm -hmm. hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the Subzerus Festival for her. What's the Subzerus Festival? It's Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birthday, which was the day that she was found by the sages. It's actually oh, a holiday I see. that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rukadavata's birthday. When she passed away, the holiday eventually became a celebration of the Lesser Lord's birthday. I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to Sumeru. In those days, the festival was a huge deal. 
But because of the academia's influence, people have gradually lost interest in the festival. The oh. academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Rukudavata. But when it comes to the Subzeros Festival, forget any funding. They practically act like it doesn't exist. Maybe they see Lesser oh. Lord Kusanali's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukudavata's death. So they're reluctant to celebrate it. Aww, but that's awful. It is. Well, it's absolutely terrible. Yeah, it is terrible. Sure, the Greater Lord founded Sumeru, but hasn't Lesser Lord Kusanali been the one quietly protecting us for the past few hundred years? <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the sub Festival to this day. But I hadn't met any of them before, so I was never able to contribute. But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hold on, my hmm. lady. Does this friend happen to be Nilu, the one who sends flowers to the estate? Yes, that's her. Mm, I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. It seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have much more up prepared, so I had Nilu sell one of my skirts. I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today and see how things are coming along. Dia, would you accompany me? Sure. That's quite the trip, though. I'll carry you. No, that would be too much, even for you. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. And if anything happens to you, then I'd really never hear the end of it from your father. Can we also come along, Dehia? But of course! And Nilu will be thrilled to hear there are more people interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. Okay, perfect. Then we just have to follow uh, Dehia and go to the Grand Bazaar. Oh no, I haven't activated the teleport waypoint here. And where exactly was I again? I really have to unlock the waypoints, I think. Let's teleport this way for starters. Alright, we just teleported, but I like to go to the waypoint first. Oh, great. Ah, uh, 24 meters up ahead and I have to climb. Let me try this way. Um, just like this. Alright, and there it is. Can I make it? Please? No? Really? Oh, let me just go to this tree to have higher steps and... Let's see, where should I go next? I guess I'm just gonna fly here. And there we go. Perfect. And I just unlock the teleport waypoint. Okay, let's continue the story. Oh, the Grand Bazaar is... It's like in the basement floor. Over here. Wow, I didn't see that coming. And hello there, Nilu. What? How? How do I it's spell her? Sorry, I'm late, Nilu. Okay, Nilu. First. Oh, Dunyarzad. It was taking you so long that I assumed you got trapped at home, but you made it in the end. Uh oh. But if Dia's here, that means you got caught, right? You could say that, uh, but everything worked out. She's on our side now. <laughs> uh, not completely. Oh. And who are these two? Oh, meet the Traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City and are looking for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. So you're followers from another land? Um, Truthfully, no. Oh, really? Well, that's okay. You're still invited to the sub Festival. Okay, thank you. By the way, Dunyarzad, We've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. It looks spectacular, thanks to your generous contribution. You're very welcome. It's the only thing I could do. Do you still have enough more? Uh, probably? But don't sweat it. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, Nilu's gonna show us, us the stage. Oh, this is the stage, I see. I can tell, right? <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. The stairs were nothing. A little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. 
Mr. Zubair was worried sick. We reported it to the Academia many times, but they never sent anyone to deal with it. We didn't want anything bad happening, so we were going to cancel all the stage performances. And why didn't anyone come to handle it? Oh, probably because it was the theater asking. The Academia looks down on performers like us. They probably think it would be best if the theater closed down completely. We can't let that happen, though. Not only would everyone involved in the theater go hungry, but then we wouldn't be able to hold the Subzerus Festival anymore. Thank the oh, Danger Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree, and we also gave the stage a much needed makeover. The stage is going to be mm. even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. And I can't wait to see you on the stage. You've been practicing so long already. It's almost time for your dream to become reality. <laughs> it's our dream. I'll do my best for the two of us. Nilu, what are you going to be doing at the festival? She'll be dancing the dance of Subzerus, the most important performance at the Subzerus festival. Junior Zod, have you told him the origin of this holiday? I only told them about the Greater Lord and Lesser Lord so far. Okay. And I'll tell you too about how this holiday came to be. According to okay. legend, the Sabzerus Festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers birthday celebration for the Greater Lord. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music, and the Greater Lord started singing. So the Goddess of Flowers began to dance. Some of the gods got drunk. I wonder if this relates to Fenty. One started playing music. Wait. It it can also relate to him. And the greater lord started singing. Oh, I see. So the goddess of flowers began to dance. The goddess of flowers should be... As she who danced can, would, upon the grass, who could she be again? Countless beautiful Padisaras began to bloom wherever she stepped. Those brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. All the gods clamored, Oh, if only time could stop at this very moment. Sounds like they had a, get a great time. Of course they did. When people mention the gods, they always think of the Archon War. But Sumeru's gods also had happy times. Although they aren't around anymore, they're preserved in our tradition of dance. This outfit I'm wearing is apparently based on how the Goddess of Flowers looked. Though we're just tiny people compared to the Divine, we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. Nilu, you of all people will definitely be able to convey our well wishes to the Dendro Archon. I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Padisaras around the stage. <laughs> they symbolize the Goddess of Flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Yeah. The Greater Lord brought forth Padisaras in memory of the Goddess of Flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful purple. Thinking about the Goddess of Flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that... Uh, I'd be thrilled if I had just two real Padisaras on the stage. <sighs> so? Traveler in Paimon, what do you think? Interested in the Sabzerus festival? Will you two be coming? All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's followers will be there for her birthday. It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. Ooh, Paimon thinks that's a great idea! So you sure it's not because you want in on the fun? Hey, come um, on! There's nothing wrong with enjoying a festival! Besides, it's Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday! She'll be happy to have more people who are celebrating it. <laughs> so how about we all attend the Subzerus Festival together? Junior Well, of course. Let me show you which stage decorations we've picked out so far. Traveler in Paimon, if that doesn't sound interesting to you, then feel free to explore the area. Everyone at the okay, Grand Bazaar loves you. Lesser Lord Kusanali, and we're all looking forward to the Subzerus Festival. In that case, mm. we'll take a look around. Yeah, let's take a look around. Walk around the Grand Bazaar. Um, hello, which one? Swolf Komari? Whoa, what's with your yellow hair? And why do your clothes look so funny? 
Are you an outlander? Did you yeah, know the Zara's festival is about to happen? There'll be loads of fun things to do at the festival. The best part is when Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, passes out candy to everyone. Hmm, I see. Okay, let's go to the second one. Um, Dunya's art. Oh, we we'll just have to Milu, your outfit looks amazing. There's also something different about you from when we first met up. <laughs> I thought I'd add a little extra pizzazz to my dress for the festival. See? Okay. Wow. Did you sew all that yourself? Uh-huh. Sewing is a fundamental skill for everyone in the theater company because we make all our own costumes. Did you know that Mr. Zubair not only can make costumes, but props too? <laughs> I've noticed that you can't keep your eyes off that crown over there. Would you like to try it on? <laughs> May I? Of course. The legends say that the goddess of flowers had beautiful horns on her head, so this crown was made to reflect that. Ah, oh. oh, Dunyazad, you look absolutely stunning with it on. What are they actually it's like doing? I'm, at the I'm gonna skip this one. Okay, I guess I'm gonna skip this part because I think it's a little bit boring, you know. For help. Things are really shaping up. Don't be fooled into thinking that Sumeru's city and when it comes to musicians. Okay, okay. I guess I'm gonna skip this part also. And how about huh. the here? Revamping the stage for the festival couldn't have been easy. I don't know much about the Grand Bazaar, but I... Oh, and the perfume sold around here is a lot better than what you'll find else. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> that's uh, what I've heard at least. Well, you actually like this... Um, this stage, aren't you? Ah, dancing at the Sub Zero's festival. As a child, okay, I'm gonna my skip this Sub one. It's gonna be a pretty much long time. Also, it's just some fillers, you know. Hey, is that who Paimon thinks it is? It looks like Catherine. Exactly. <sighs> what is Catherine doing, actually? <laughs> And she's singing? What? Huh. Come to think of it, Paimon's only ever seen her behind the counter at the Adventurers Guild. This is the first time we've ever seen her taking a break. Hey, Catherine? Um, Catherine? Hmm? Oh, hey! It's the Traveler and Paimon! What's shaking? Whoa! Break time Catherine sure sounds a lot less formal than usual. Paimon was still waiting for her to say Ad Astra Ad. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Standing behind the counter at the Adventurers Guild doesn't require any complicated functions. But saying and doing the same old things over and over again can get pretty monotonous. Like watching the same Fontaine movie day after day. But take you two, for example. You travel across to VAT to enrich your lives and gain new experiences. Well, we enjoy traveling across to VAT and all that, but we're mainly looking for clues about his sister. Yes, you should keep searching. Sometimes the answers we're looking for his sister? aren't necessarily at our intended destination. Instead, they're found along the way. Huh. Haven't we heard someone say something pretty similar recently? Anyways, what brings you out here, Catherine? Are you also a fan of the sub no, Festival? No, not particularly. I guess you could say that I'm loving the recent atmosphere here. If festivals bring happiness to everyone, then that's where their true value lies. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's about time for me to be heading back now. Alright, we'll see you next time at the Adventures Guild. Oh, by the way, Thanks for connecting us with the Aramites. We've already made some great friends in Sumeru City thanks to you. I'm sure you two will get along well with the people here. You've already been blessed by the element of Dendro after all. <laughs> see you around. Okay, see you around. Um, sauce Catherine. <laughs> hmm. There's something really different about Catherine today. Hey, yeah. Traveler. Paimon. And hello there, Dia. Oh, hey, Dia. What's going on? I've got something to tell you. 
My lady knows you're looking for ways to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali, and she's been trying to come up with a way to help you. Well, I have an idea that might help. And what would that be? We'd love that! Yeah, of course. It might not necessarily pan out, so don't get your hopes up too much. I'll need to take you two somewhere and ask someone some questions. How about the news that- uh, My lady is feeling a little worn out at the moment. Nilu's found a place for her to rest. After I take my lady home, let's meet in front of the Citadel of Regzar. Sounds like a plan! Okay... Let's head over to the Citadel of Regzar and wait for Dia! Okay, looks like we gotta go out here. Um, wait for the here. Sorry, I'm late. It took some convincing for the master and mistress to believe that Miss Dunyarzad was only sitting in the port for a while because she was in a bad mood. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzad that happy in a long time. If it wasn't for you two, she probably would have been caught and dragged back much earlier. You sure sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Dia. Who would have thought you had such a soft spot for Dunyarzad? It's called being a professional. I'm a bodyguard, and I work for whoever's paying. Huh, doesn't sound like that at all. <laughs> Look, Dia's blushing. <laughs> That's a blush if I ever seen one. Uh, listen, you two. I don't <laughs> have to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Let's cut the chit chat and head into the Citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the Lesser Lord. Okay. So what are we gonna do next? Hmm. Oh, hey, Chief. Hmm. Ha, <laughs> did ya? What are you doing here? And well, well. Didn't expect to see you three together. <laughs> I take it you all know each other already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Adventurers Guild pointed us to Ozfan for more info. No kidding. Huh. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. And Ruksha's gone over to the Academia. The Grand Sage recently ordered Sumero City to begin bolstering its defenses. Okay. <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well tell him what we know. Appreciate it, Chief. Uh, theft? Sorry, what the heck are you guys talking about? Just recently, the Academia lost something. And there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. But if you ask me, the case is more about the Academia than anything else. Let me fill you in. The Academia recently sent a convoy to pick up an important package from Aru Village. Aru Village. Word got out, and the convoy was robbed on its way back. The Grand Sage took the whole matter very seriously. Not only okay. did he dispatch the Matra, but mm -hmm. also enlisted our help in the search for leads. All we know so far is that whatever was stolen is currently in Port Ormos. Port Ormos. You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. Okay, I already heard the Port Ormos. Let's give it. isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos, so the city's a little more laid back. Apparently, what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha, knowledge, and even the gods. I'm afraid I don't have any other details for you, though. If you're interested, maybe you could head to Port Ormos and ask around yourselves. If you want my advice, mm. try introducing yourselves as students of the Academia once you're there. Oh, we have to try introducing our, ourselves as students of the Academia. Why should we do that? Are you serious, Chief? All the Academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? <laughs> if you're also interested, just go there and see what happens. Count me out. I've got plenty of work to do here for the Homayani family. And take it from me, if you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, you'd best watch your backs. Let's just say that the Eremites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru City. There are even some extremists mm -hmm. who go around shouting slogans like, Retake Sumeru for the Scarlet King! Word is that more and more are joining their movement. 
They're becoming a real headache for Chief and the others. You bet they are. The Scarlet King's been dead for thousands of years. Now they start spreading rumors of his return. Ridiculous. Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandon their homes in the wilderness still wish to have a god of their own. <sighs> well, Traveler, that's about all the information we have for you. Thanks, Dia! And you too, Osfond! Since we've gathered all we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head to Port Ormos and see what we can find next! Miss Dunyarzad is looking uh -huh. forward to seeing you both at the Subzerus Festival, so be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. Don't worry, we will go back. Then we'll see you both at the Subzerus Festival. Okay, great. Alright, looks like we've completed this one. Lost in prosperity, go to... Oh, wait, what? Oh, we got we got a word quest. We we can skip this, I guess. Go to Port Ormus. Okay. Anyway, we gotta go to Port Ormus. Let me renavigate this one like this. Wait, Port Ormus is even further than I thought. Well, I mean, I actually oh, it's gonna be a very long trip. Perfect. Looks like I gotta uh have a huge skip. Uh, yeah, I gotta I gotta skip some scenes here. Okay, hello there, Ring Grader. Nice to meet you. Shall we fight? I'm just, I'm gonna have a little fight here, just for fun, you know. Okay, just like that. Perfect. Um, this one. I I wanna try my quick and my my dendro elements, you know, especially on the traveler. Okay, that was close. Okay, I guess I'm gonna end it this way. Perfect. Okay, that's all. And we just arrived in the statue of seven Dendro, the second one. And perfect. We just open this, and also let's go back. Let's let's continue onward. Okay, another wave rider. Let me get this and summon it. And let's sail again. Oh look, a Dendroculus just passed by and got. Okay, looks like we actually arrived here, but I have no idea where exactly should I go. Oh, wait, there's a there's a path here. I guess I'm gonna try uh, going around this way. I'm just gonna climb this uh, building here. Uh, wait, what? Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, never mind, a dead end. Okay, I just saw uh, a path to go upstairs. No, what should I say this? Anyway, let's swim here and go that way. Okay, just like this. And we're going up here to get to our destination. Okay, we just arrived. Hooray. Um, Port Ormos is pretty great. There's so many new and interesting things. Not to mention all the tasty food. Sumeru's largest commercial port sure lives up to its name. Look at all the merchants. And everyone seems excited just to be here. Mm, no one quite as excited as Paimon, uh, I gotta say. How did things end up like this? And what's... All thanks to your artistic license. That's how. <sighs> I should have made you wait until we got an update from Tanja. <sighs> But when I finished the prototype r, &R yesterday, you agreed that the kids would like it. Well, I never thought they'd dislike it so much. Oh, uh, what should we do? Okay, they found this thing thing distinctly less than Whoa. excited. Yeah, compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. Let's go find out what's going on. Okay, let's go find uh, out. Hey there, Paimon? And he's a traveler who is just passing by. Is there something bothering you? Oh, I noticed you two a moment ago. Welcome to Akara Crafts, the best toy store in Port Ormos. Uh, at least for now. Uh, what's bothering us is this prototype Aranara. Uh, to start mm -hmm. with, could I uh, get your opinion on it? It looks oh, like. Aranara? Monster to Paimon. 
Sounds like a name of a weapon. Oh, no, no. Uh, the prototype Aranara is something that brings joy and laughter to children. Uh, at least in theory. Not the first negative feedback we've had. So, what exactly is a prototype Aranara? So, for context, Aranara are magical creatures in Sumeru fairy tales that live in the forest. For the store's 20th anniversary, we plan to release a series of hand-carved toys based on the Aranara stories that kids know and love. This is a prototype we made to get an idea of how they would react. When we put it out there, the reaction was not quite what we'd anticipated. Uh -huh. They thought it looked like a mushroom too, huh? No, worse than that, actually. I can't quite describe it, though. And I'm also not very good with kids. Okay, let's ask with the kids about their opinions with the with the prototype Aranara. This is not an Aranara. Uh, no way. I've read Uncle Tanja's Aranara and the Ill Little Fungus. It says that Aranara are supposed to be chubby and squishy. The carving looks nothing like that. Chubby and squishy. Toys do look better when they're round and chubby. Uncle Tonder said in Aranara's vow that you can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. This carving makes me feel lost and confused inside. I don't think the creator put his heart into it at all. It's nothing like an Aranara. Ooh, didn't put his heart into it, huh? Oh, sounds like one of those things that's easier said than understood. Kasid and Alia didn't like this carving, mm -hmm. but I think it's okay. It doesn't look too happy, so it's kind of pitiful in a cute way. Okay, so the first one, uh, it it's not cute. The second one, um, it it has no heart, and the last one, it doesn't look too happy. Oh, a positive review! Yeah, so I would totally ask my dad to get it for me, if it wasn't meant to be a Nara Nara. Oh, well... That took a sudden turn for the worse. We asked the children for their opinions. Oh, how did it go? Uh, has it maybe, uh, grown on them at all? Unfortunately, no. Oh, this is such a shame. Uh, why isn't Tanjur back from Gondarvaville yet? Oh, the kids kept mentioning an Uncle Tanjur too. Who is he exactly? Uncle Tanjur is a famous children's author here in Port Ormos. He wrote quite a few stories in the past, but uh, none of them were popular among children. Uh, just like our prototype Haranara. But around a year or so ago, he suddenly had a eureka moment or something. And suddenly the children loved every one of his stories. That's right. My little Gafari loves his stories too. Okay, let's drop Tanja this uh, conversation, right I guess. Agreed. We were running out of time, so we had no choice but to cut. As you can see, this was a result. Okay, so uh, it was because you you weren't supposed to work on stuff like this, and you were forced oh, to do we have this to one do thing. Something. Hey, since you're the famous traveler, could you do us a favor and look for Tanjur in Gandharvaville? Uh, he Tanger. doesn't have to come in person if he's too busy. Just ask him to write down his suggestions and bring his notes back to us, uh, if you could. Uh, please, if only to put a smile on the children's faces. They seem pretty desperate. Hmm. Let's help them out to see the kids smile. And also for our reward. Uh, okay, we'll do it for the yep. kids' smiles. What? I think. Um, go to Gandorva Field and find danger. Oh, wait, what? It's gonna be a long one story? Okay, wasn't supposed to be our quest. Oh no, I, sh I just messed up. Whatever. Anyway, uh, let's go back here. We just met some sort of uh, interference. Actually, we... We need to go this way, but before that, there is a teleport waypoint. Let me unlock this place so that I could teleport faster here without traveling a long way ahead. Okay, anyway, we just arrive. Okay, perfect. Okay, so here's the real deal. Come and have a good look yourself. 
traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna skip this Talk one. Talk about hurly burly. This place is busy. Exactly. Ooh. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. We know yeah. that whatever the academia lost is related to the gods. But hmm. okay. Oswan told us to try posing as academia students while asking around. Okay, Pilot we have to be. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're academia students and asking about the stolen item? Okay, we should figure that out before doing well, anything else. Given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, Pine on bets we could find it in the market. Alright, so f what we have to do is let's add some nearby merchant for some info. Welcome! Welcome. Uh, how can I help you too? Uh, hi there. We would like to ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Especially around this time of year, many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia. Sure, we may not be Sumero City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free environment. Ah, you see over there? <laughs> Those are students from the academia. They look pretty serious. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. Mm. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. Okay, let's in listen into their conversation. We actually eavesdropping them. It's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. They're called Ein El Achmar. Today, I heard that the thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. Wait, come again? Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the Academia. I've heard that Ein El Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. What? Wait, did you say half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? Well, I guess that makes sense. Then the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. Whoa! Did you hear that? A niche field of research? And shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. Is knowledge something people just buy and sell like that? Whatever was stolen from the Academia was also related to knowledge. So, what's your plan? Let's go to Jafar Tavern, I think. Wait, didn't you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million mora! Have you lost your mind? Well, I actually have five mil- five million. Uh, reliable information is worth the oh, price. Alright. Paimon never thought she'd agree to parting with that kind of mora. But if you know what you're doing, then we should give it a shot. Okay. Why don't we- why don't we give a shot anyway? Five hundred- five- 500 million moras is like nothing for us, right? Anyway, let's go to the Jafar Tavern. Um, it should be around here. And here we go. This is the place we heard those students talking about. And let's find then... a seat somewhere and see if we can spot the group. Okay, we sat down and wait for some time. Oh, you've arrived. Please take a seat. Um, so, who are they? they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss? Ha! <laughs> Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. <laughs> they're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracal Battalion. They've also amassed a significant amount of more this time. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? Yeah, with boss's fervent devotion, He'll be able to use this power to bring our- Okay, stop All talking, these guys please. talk about is the Scarlet King. So they're probably the ones we're looking for. 
Yeah. Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when the Scarlet King exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. The traitor? What are they talking about? Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should ask about that if we get the chance later. Yeah, let's ask them. What exactly are those traitors? Are they are they Kusanali's uh, worshippers? Oh, we just have to ask them. Okay. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, I'm a student from the academy. A student? Huh. What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? Uh, what do you think else? I'm looking for a certain something. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? Uh, hand him 500,000 more? 50 uh, more? What is this? Some kind of joke? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry. I was, I was just uh, joking. Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? And I just have one more question. Oh, that's right. Ah, so you're bad at lying, Paimon. Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. As you can see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King. Years ago, the Scarlet King founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present-day Sumeru. The Scarlet mm -hmm. King was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. God of Wisdom. It definitely. So, you mean the traitor was. Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Yes. Oh, the I thought it was her. Destroyed the Scarlet King civilization, and our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. Oh, okay, that's harsh. I didn't know about that. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions, and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh. Just thinking about it sickens me. Yeah, that sickens me too. I, I know what you feel. <sighs> but the story doesn't end there. Oh no. The Scarlet King isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Mark oh. my words, our God shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true God will suffer retribution together. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of the Scarlet King. <laughs> um, can you tell us more about the Oracle? I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Academia? Not just yet. This man is a fraud. Oh, great. I'll hide from huh? Um... <sighs> you again? Deranged academia lunatic. Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Listen to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more you're worth. Hey! Shut it all, Haytham! What are you playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you, don't push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough with people from the Academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. After all, even the Archons used war to negotiate the ownership of Tevat. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all. 
then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. I will jeopardize the Eremite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be undone. What exactly would that also, be? A word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. Otherwise, he might blame you for not telling him in the future. What did you say? Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Hmm. Interesting. Not so fast. First, you return the 500,000 mora to them. <laughs> Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah, Mr. Iman. There appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? I, uh... Well, someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Whoa, did you see that? He not only got us our mora back, but sent the Amorites running too! Plus, he seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Let's catch up with him and ask some questions! All right, hey, perfect. After him. Okay, let's go to him. Mm, this way. Wait up! It's all Hatham, right? What do you want? Uh, thanks for your help back there. No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. Uh, oh, I advise great. you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. All right. Goodbye. Yeah. Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a, a um, certain something. No? Who exactly are you two, and why are you inquiring about that? Why are we still lying about the student from the Academia? I'm pretty sure our Hatham is pretty sharp about us not being a student from a student. there. <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. See? I know a thing or so about us uh, wordplay. Huh? Oh, yeah! He's really strong! Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. He doesn't even have a vision. Forget it. Maybe not. Well... We can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I... Uh... Those high-headed thugs are definitely gonna bring a lot of backup for your next meeting. Even if you don't go alone, you won't regret taking us with you. Hmm. <sighs> All right, I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your luck. We'll reconvene at the appointed time by the pier. It doesn't matter if you show up or not. Um, so, since you were happy to give us this merchant's information, does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? You were willing to part with 500,000 mora for something and you didn't even know what it was? <laughs> well... Okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, honestly, yes. <laughs> then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. Look, if you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating information. We know it's connected to the Academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too! Hmm. It seems what like else? those kind of knowledge. You know almost everything there is to know. 
but you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. This is what you've been looking for. Hi. Um. I can't tell what it is. It looks like some kind of ornament. This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. It's like a miniature Akasha. Anyone who links oh, to the I see. Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Um, anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes pri pri privy to its contents. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, knowledge capsules can further contents without any requisites. That's amazing! It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. And you just possess them. created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha and wish to change their fate. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the Academia. Now, in Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. Meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless Academia students. Well... I think that about sums it up. Mm, okay, I heard that the Academia lost something recently, and looks like it's a bunch of knowledge capsules. Oh, so that's your true objective. Yeah, I want to learn more about With that. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. Perhaps we can negotiate further? <sighs> You're still resolved. Fine. Let's talk somewhere with fewer people. Alright. Um, go with our item to a more secluded spot to continue our conversation. Okay, just like this. Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. And why I would I I need you be? to find someone named Dory, a traveling merchant. Dory! Unlike the peddlers who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. She's okay, say no more and academia. let me find Dory. Me. Okay, so before we go to find Dory, there are a bunch of conversations that I think it's not important, but this one is a little bit important, I think. Um, they look the same to my mind. Okay, these are two knowledge capsules and I'll hate them as us to differentiate between these two. Try inspecting them with elemental sight. Okay, and what's with this one? It's a little bit glowing. Did you see anything? Uh, the one on the left shines brighter. They both glow green. I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer this one, just <laughs> for fun, you know. Quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. Oh, so that's how it goes. Knowledge originates from Ermansoul, the root of Dendro power itself. The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in Dendro energy. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules are of little value. Using elemental uh -huh. sight is merely a stopgap measure, but it should suffice for earning Dory's trust. That sounds okay. pretty impressive! Okay, here's a great sheet with then. the informant's location and contact password, and here is the mora for purchasing canned knowledge. Don't be cheap. You'll need to spend to catch Dory's eye. If there's any more left over, just keep it. Oh, and be sure to exercise some caution. There have been Matra present in Port Ormos lately. Your efforts will be for naught if they catch you. Uh, what exactly are this? Hmm. They belong to the Academia's regulatory body. They also handle cases of illegal canned knowledge transactions. Oh, like I, I see. Said, the Academia has banned both their trade and possession. The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, now's the time. I'm gonna take that risk, of okay, course. Then we have a deal. Okay, let's go find Dory for Looking now. Looking at what Al Haytham wrote, Dory's informant is a traitor near Old Ormos. Near Old Ormos. Let's follow these instructions and try to get in contact with him. 
And it should be this one person. Hello. Let me use Lattice. What are you two looking to buy? Uh, you wanna buy some raw hero fruits? Wait, are you sure you're remembering that right? Uh, oh, I didn't. I didn't read the paper actually. Think it was that on the paper. Okay, we want to buy some unripe hero fruits. <laughs> what a unique palette! We have unripe hero fruits, but we usually keep them in the back. I'll have someone escort you. Oh, okay. Following the paper got us past the first round. Ronak. These two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Show them to the warehouse. Got it. You two, please follow me. And? You two have a fascinating fashion sense. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. Uh, Sumeru uh, rose? Let me think. Sumeru rose means common merch. Common merch. Well, uh, mistake. I do apologize. Whew. That pop quiz sure was scary. Ah, uh, the warehouse is up ahead. Please follow me. Okay, so where exactly is the warehouse anyway? Oh yeah, I I forgot I could walk. <laughs> Just like this. Okay, what now? Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. Uh, congratulations to you. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Mm. Okay, which one should I answer? Uh, let's see. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick up some fruits that will make you dizzy? I prefer something that causes heat stroke. No, that's not it. The paper said that heat stroke is the answer to erudition. Okay, anyway. Uh, oh, no. I'm sorry. But as they... He's cautious of us. Let's take a closer look at the paper. Okay, let's restart the, the uh, conversation again. And I haven't looked at the paper. Where exactly is the paper again? Informant code chart. Okay, I gotta remember this. Okay, I guess that's all for now, and let's try it once more. I just re remember a bunch Before I of retrieve this. your products, I need to confirm a few things. Uh, please okay. forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. Uh, congratulations to you. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick Heal. out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Uh, dizziness with a side of tinnitus, please? Yep, that's the right answer. But eating hara fruit that makes your head and ears ring sounds like a bad life decision. Would you like your hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? Okay, speaking of hara fruits in Sumeru City, we need to buy a bulk of it or... Or a small amount. I kind of forget about this. I'm guessing that you're going for a more traditional packaging since this is your first time here. Yeah, I'd like to... Yeah, Wait a second. exactly. Sumeru City style means we're only buying a few things. He won't take us to see Dory if we do that. Oh, okay, I just, I just missed it. So I have to buy bulk of it instead. Uh, I see. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, Port Ormo wow. style. You two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Okay. All right. Everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at... Shoot! It's the Matra! Run! What? The Matra? Oh, no. Where? I'll hate them zipper dumb for if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. Okay, we gotta get out of the Matra. What? Where exactly is that Matra? Oh no. We gotta flee together with round map. Okay, just like this. Nice. Um, where exactly did he run again? This way? Okay, over here. Uh, he's continuing to go up, okay. And we got a teleport waypoint up here, so might as well open this. There we go, perfect. And flee together with 
Okay, another flea, flea, whatever stuff, you know. Over here. Hey! If you're hiding from the Rishbulan tiger, come this way! Rishbulan tiger? Huh? Oh, that voice came from behind the building on the... Here, over here. You can stop running now. Okay, okay, finally we found Dory. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But, uh, are we definitely gonna be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. Oh, very good. Thank you. Mm. Huh? Wait, you're Dory? I'm unsure thought you'd look a whole lot scarier. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything. But I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? Uh, Paimon's not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment, but we'll take it. I can't risk doing business with people who start huffing and puffing after just a few paces. Mm -hmm. No matter how much Mora they might have. Not only will they get caught by the Matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. So that's why it's your first time here, but don't worry. I won't ask too many questions as long as you have lots of round shiny Mora Then we're all good. Can you show us our products? Oh, yes. Your products, course, you mean? Course. I mean, Go ahead. ah, I slipped myself. I'm gonna, Voila. I'm gonna collapse. Wow, she has a trove of Karen's knowledge. Whew. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the Matra caught her with all this. What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology and di- Eesh. Who would want to be an expert in that? Or how about... With okay, let, let me skip this part. Ooh, now this sounds like it could be useful. Two million Mora, and it's yours. Wait, what? Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The co All right, let's try the method that I'll hate them mentioned. Mm, okay, let's see using the elemental sights. And which one is the brightest? Oh no, there are three brighter ones. I'll take this one. And this one. As well as this one. <sighs> You've really got a good head on your shoulders. I'm quite the eye for quality. You pick and just a variety of can knowledge. Well, take these, please and thank you. My oh my, you are blessed with a taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. Listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you say what now? Hey, what are you even trying you to do that? now? Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth a whole million! Calm down, Paimon. Don't let her trick you into spending but more. All the canned knowledge we just bought is easily worth half a million more. If we spend just a little more, we can get some... Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this can. Aren't you even wait, 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 wait. You gotta... You gotta, no, you gotta slow down, Paimon. Is here. that... Don't you uh, want to try it yourself? Uh, I think you're the one who's curious, yeah. Come on, come on! We still have around a hundred thousand of Alhatham's more left. So let's put it to good use by finding something useful for you. Excellent! And then please... Oh no, we really have to select some more? Uh, hold on a second! Paimon thought we could choose whatever... Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more each. Uh oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. Uh, maybe we should just pass this one. Huh? Why? Uh, let's just say for our hey, mental health. Hey, getting a capsule worth um. <laughs> well, anyway, the more has already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. Let okay, Paimon I here. guess. I'm not sure we'd ever find volumes one through seven, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? 
Okay, Yay, finally. We'll take this one. Wait, All what? Right. Very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. Wait, we actually oh, spend. Yeah, the went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Fuzuk and meet up with Alhatham. Hopefully, okay. he'll finally tell us about what the academia lost. Okay, we gotta go back to Al Haytham um, by using this elevator. Alright, just like this. And there he is. Huh. You two made it. Wow. There's so many people from the academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? Well, Wakela Funduk is under the academia's control, so naturally the academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macher won't come here. <sighs> you bring Ahitam up to date and give okay. him... we did what you asked. So, can you tell us about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost now? Before that, I have to ask. Why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of course. Mm. We want to meet the Dendro yeah. Archon. He just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Wow! Mm. There's really such a thing as that? Hey, I see. If we find it, do you think we could learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. So, where exactly? The one you were holding? That's what we need to find out next. Oh. So your goal is to find it I too. won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, the Aramites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late. But there is still no victor. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a ten- I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, such as those from Ayn al-Akhmar. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains the Scarlet King's power. So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Ayn al-Akhmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means net. So, mm -hmm. I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. The Divine Knowledge Capsule okay. should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. To ensure okay, the capsule anyway, security, and unless we just I know keep this? whose hands... Okay, then we'll meet up in two days. Okay. Okay, we finally finished the conversation. I also got bored, so I'm just gonna skip a bunch of those, so... Uh, where should we go again? Go out into the wilds and test the canned knowledge. We have to go around here. Actually, we don't really have to go here. We just have to teleport to the city of seven nearby. But actually, we just teleport. Let's just teleport this way. Alright. We just arrived to where we we're supposed to test the... All right. No this place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here. Oh, we were supposed to test with Alhaitam, so hmm. we also Sword have fighting to... fighting techniques 8. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days, since most have been taken by the Aramites to augment their battle capabilities. Really? Ah, oh, yeah, what a great buy! If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles. 
one before using this knowledge capsule, and one after. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. Wow! Okay. Awesome. You must have been one. Um, Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the academia, right? So, why are you risking getting caught by the Matra for this capsule? Well, I mean, he he possesses a private capsule. When you are unable to understand a researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Mm, and what would it sounds be? Sounds like you're trying to avoid the question. All right, let's begin the test. Just fight as you normally do. Okay, fight as I normally do. Initiate first combat test. Oh, against these guys, I see. Let's see. Um, how am I supposed to get him? There is no escape. Okay, one, this one, and bam! Got a quicken. Um, can I get this one? Propagate. Got a quicken. Oh, another reinforcement. Didn't, ex didn't expect that. Bam! Are they immune? No, they're not immune. Nice. Okay, just like that. What's next? Okay, I guess that's all. Um, there it is. All right. Oh. I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data. The next step is to use this knowledge capsule. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. Okay, we're going to activate the can knowledge. Open your inventory and use the can knowledge. My inventory. Okay, it uh, looks like I'm gonna use this. And uh, and then in the next day, it disappeared in the recesses of my memory. Is this is this gonna be permanent? Let's see. Hey, how are you feeling? I felt something for a you moment. Mean that it worked? All right, time for round two. Okay, fight with the same enemy we fought before. Let's Propagate. see. Okay, that's uh, normal damage over here now. Um, okay. Oh, looks like we deal a little bit more damage than before. Okay, as I'll hate them about the test result. Now, I'll start recording data again. And what's oh, hey, Sam. going on? How's it going? Well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve his combat capability. During the second fight, his overall fighting performance increased by 0.073%. Point zero? How much? You gotta be kidding me. That's basically zero. Of course, this could be because he is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. I'm heading back to Akela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. This is more for when you ask Dory for information. Okay, pay exactly what we have just got to pay them. Wait until 7, 2 days from now. Okay, 2 days from now. I gotta tell the time. Day after tomorrow. Um, is it, is it sufficient here? I guess I'm gonna put it this way. 7 o'clock, right? Um, this way, I think. All right, we just arrived to the day after tomorrow. Is it change? Let's see Dory today and ask her about where the divine knowledge capsule is. All right, we gotta ask Dory, and where should we teleport again? Let's see. Oh, okay, we just teleported here, and oh, we're back where we're supposed to meet her. I mean, the first time we meet her is here, so we go back this. Here, over place. here. Welcome back, my loyal patrons.
patrons. What can I do for you this time? You name it. Can knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need. I'll find a way to get it. Where there's a waterfall of Mora, there's a way. Can you really get us anything we want? Anything at all? Uh-huh. So it appears that can knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. <sighs> then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. I like to buy info on the whereabouts of the Divine Knowledge oh. Capsule. <laughs> I knew customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly crave something more profound than ordinary can knowledge. But you know, that kind of information isn't going to be cheap. After yeah, all, of course. I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. Not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, I would be in big, big trouble. But how can we be sure your information is accurate? Paimon's curious how you just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need it. <laughs> because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. As for the information's authenticity, well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. I'll buy the information. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. The Divine Knowledge Capsule was purchased yesterday by a certain Misery, the leader of Ein El Ahmar. Ein El Ahmar? You mean the Aramites who worship the Scarlet King? Ah, so you're all... The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of the Scarlet King. And that Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other canned knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing, it was glowing bright red. Okay, it's bright red. Okay, it's bright red. Picture I took. You can look for yourself. Uh huh. Thanks for the info, Yuri. Yeah, thanks for the info. And let's just not waste our time. I mean, don't waste our time and. Oh, we're going down again. I prefer doing it this way instead. It takes pretty much a long time that way. Okay, perfect. There's all hate them. Really? Alright. Let's hear it. It's in the hands of Ain Al Ahmar. Day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramite's transaction. But then, to get close enough to take a picture like this... All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader of Ain al Ahmar. And mm -hmm. the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge Capsule. In which case, uh -huh. if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show their hand. Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these Ein El Achmar guys. But now, it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss. Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Okay. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date, 3 o'clock sharp. 3 o'clock sharp. Okay, see you then. Uh, I'll hear them. On few days later, on the day of meeting with, uh, oh, hey, I'm sure he's taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, oh, there it is. There he is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Let's head to the pier in front of Paris yeah, lighthouse. Okay, let's go. Go to the agreed location. Should be this way. I think I'm just gonna teleport. I guess. Okay, we're almost arrived to the what is it called again? I I forget again. Well, anyway, I'll hate them. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. Oh, the, it was the guy it from was before I who demanded that these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. But to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. This is Perfect. turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. I assume you don't mind. Backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to support this lunatic because he helped you out? <laughs> Fine. Your funeral. Huh? My funeral? I think it's... I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, 
You'll be nothing more than fish food. Get them, boys! No, you're the one who's gonna get uh slain. I mean, are you sure? Yeah, it should be fine, you know. Hello? Wait, it's even easier than I thought. Wait, where exactly is this one? Okay, there it is. Get him off. Oh, we need to find another one. Bam! Okay, nice. Oh, I thought it's, it's gonna be super effective, but looks like it's not. Okay, anyway. I'm, I'm gonna go all out this time. Is in this one thing over here? Oh. Hey, I'm about to have to go all out. What? Hmm. Hmm. Boss, finally. Uh. Did you use it? Great. Now we can. Uh -huh. What now? Oh no. What's boss? going on with boss? With their boss, I mean. Anyway, hello there. Uh oh, he's kind of corrupted. What? Okay, this is bad news. Boss! Boss! What's wrong? What happened to him? Yeah, we gotta help. We gotta help. Uh, hurry. We have to cut his Akasha connection now. What was that? Oh no. Okay, it's re it's Target really fire. bad. Arrested. What? I'll hate them. Do not impede our work. Is that understood, I'll hate them? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away. Oh, look at what he just got over there. Looks like that's the divine capsule. What is it called again? World, forget me. That's the same line we've heard from the from our dream. What into that just happened? It's like that big guy suddenly lost his mind. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. Yeah, you the divine capsule. Speaking of which, Hypesia did mention... Oh, yeah. You mean how some researchers go insane after getting knowledge from Ermensoul? I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? Yeah, I, I've, I've been into the Erminsel once, so I re barely recall those words. Yeah, that's exactly what I heard before at Erminsel. If Matra took him away, then that means the Academia got the Divine Knowledge Capsule back too. Oh, what a shame. We were so close. I don't think so, Paimon. Uh, I'll, I just, I just saw I'll hate him. Get him. Got him. Paimon didn't expect the divine knowledge. Okay, actually, spoiler alert. So As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. No, I, I, I definitely saw it was taken by, by him. Oh, we were so busy. How do? How did we even? Did, 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 didn't even Paimon notice. Paimon forgot to ask you something. Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. Everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I'm heading back to the Academia. Who's that way? How about you two? Uh, it's almost the day of the sub Zero's festival! Maybe we should head back too. We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good. Yeah, you got a point there. Then we'll part ways here, I'll hate them. I'm 
until we meet again. Okay, until we meet again. Oh, come on. See? Oh. I told you! Do I deal with this thing first? Or should I produce the report that the higher ups require? Okay, so actually this traveler doesn't notice and the act one just completed. Just like that. So we actually didn't notice that Al Hayden just got the the divine capsule. It was talk uh, it was it's we've been searching for, you know. And we have to go back to Sumeru City for the time being. And I'm gonna stop the video right now because it's been pretty long one run. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you like it. Dislike it if you don't. And see you on my next content. Peace out. <laughs>